a day to remember, we commemorate the lives lost on this 80 year anniversary coming up next. Out of 411 people, only one can be number one. Find out who coming up. Looking for some fun festivities to get in the holiday spirit? We've got the story. All this and more coming up on NHS TV Live. The U.S. will change and reintroduce COVID-19 travel restrictions due to the Omicron variant. The Biden administration has announced all inbound international travelers are now required to test within one day of departure for the United States, regardless of vaccination status or nationality. The rule, which went into effect yesterday, applies to the, to the U.S. citizens returning to the U.S. and applies to anyone two years old or older. This comes on the heel of travel bans of eight African countries where the Omicron variant was detected. Only citizens of the U.S., certain family members, and other individuals who met specified exceptions from the banned countries will be allowed in the U.S., still requiring a negative COVID test, however. Also breaking overnight, the first known case of the Omicron variant of COVID-19 in Texas was detected yesterday in Harris County right outside of Houston. On this day, we pay tribute to the lives lost on Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941. Japan staged a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, decimating the U.S. Pacific Fleet. When Germany and Italy declared war on the United States days later, America found itself in a global war. Now, 80 years later, Americans and people from all over the world gather to pay tribute to those whose service and sacrifice preserved freedom and liberty at home and abroad. During this five-year World War II commemoration period, the Pearl Harbor Memorial Parade will commemorate the 80th anniversary of this attack on Pearl Harbor. This will be an important reminder of the fateful day while providing hope that from conflict and the devastation of war, peace and friendship can occur. The annual Pearl Harbor Memorial Parade will also feature an 80th anniversary of Pearl Harbor Mast Band and Choir in our official opening ceremony. The purpose of the parade is to honor and pay respect to the Pearl Harbor survivors, our veterans, active duty military, and their families. The parade takes place each year on, in Hawaii on December 7th, the anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attack. A student that has surpassed over 400 spots in the total senior rank to get number one, NHS TV reporter Javier Rivera Cordero got the story on the hardworking individual that got there. Have you ever wondered what happens in the academies? From photography in the CMP Academy to engineering in the STEM Academy, people can have a lot of opportunities and a lot of work on their hands. And for the latter, the STEM Academy can also be a lot of pressure. I would say it's probably not been an easy challenge, at least maintaining it. Diego Foyu Solare, a senior in the STEM Academy, National Honor Society, National Clinical Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, CTE Ambassador of the STEM Academy, and UIL Social Studies. He thrives on his hard work from all these organizations, but with maintaining all these organizations, he still has all his hobbies and passions. Growing up, I used to be very obsessed with transport, and I still kind of am. I also like enjoy drawing maps and just kind of always just going into Google Maps and finding weird places. While handling all the pressure of several classes. I've had some struggles where my grades in particular, I remember in particular physics I struggled with in a couple of classes in my sophomore year. But it's just always been a dedication, hard work, and helping, uh, being able to collaborate with peers and things like that that have also helped me um, head up there and I think I wouldn't be able to do it without them, without the support of my parents as well, of my sister. Yeah, it's always been a thing. I've always liked to connect back to my culture as a Uruguayan. But are you still able to maintain happiness throughout the work? Of course, value your academic achievements as well and work hard for those, but uh, don't let that be your only thing you're doing today. Take some time for yourself. This has been Javier Rivera Cotero of NHS TV. And from academics to mechanics, Chris Dobbs has all the motors covered on this week's Car Talk. episode of Car Talk with Chris, we're going to talk about Ferrari has announced their brand new hybrid supercar called the 296 GTB, the turbocharged V6, and will have 819 horsepower engine. The 296 GTB will also be able to be driven on electric power up to 25 kilometers. The GTB will be coming out sometime in 2022 with a new supercar called the Atura, a mid-engine hybrid two-seater with a twin turbo V6 with over 577 horsepower. Also, the supercar is a hybrid, so the battery will go about 15 miles. This is McLaren's first ever hybrid car. This car will come out at the end of 2021 and will shock the car world.
Benz announced their first ever electric car called the EQS. The EQS is a four door with a range of 350 miles. The EQS stands for Intelligent Electric Mobility. This is the first luxury Mercedes that will be electric. This car will come out in the fall of 2021 with Car Talk with Chris. This has been Chris Dobson. A musical in which a modern day Romeo and Juliet are involved in a New York street gang. On the harsh streets of the Upper West Side, two gangs battle for control of the turf. The situation becomes complicated when a gang member falls in love with a rival sister. This movie will definitely have action, betrayal, and a lot more. This movie comes out this Thursday, December 9th, in theaters, so if you have nothing to do, then seeing this romance musical movie may be worth it. Want an easy way to make someone's day just a little bit better or spread some Christmas cheer? Class of 2024 is selling candy grams. That will include a candy cane and a special note, and they will be sold during all lunches for $1. The last day to buy one is December 9th, and they will be delivered December 10th. Speaking of Christmas activities, I found the best Christmas lights for you to go see. The best Christmas lights in the DFW area. Holidays at the Arboretum. In the evenings, the garden comes to life for a beautiful nighttime experience with over 1 million lights. Next is Holiday in the Park at Six Flags. In between the thrill rides you'll enjoy, festive shows including the all-new Holly Jolly Holiday Parade. Christmas at the Gaylord featuring Elf. There's ice skating, snow tubing, snow throwing, and new this year, Mission Save Christmas featuring Elf, where you can join an epic virtual snowball fight in Central Park, just like in the Elf movie. Last, we have Texas Motor Speedway Gift of Lights. The next time you guys could go enjoy the lights is December 9th. December 9th is Free Military and First Responders Night. All you have to do is show your ID at the gate. The last night of the Gift of Lights is December 18th. I'll definitely have to go check out Holiday of the Park with my family this year. I don't know. I mean, the Gaylord sounds pretty fun. That's true. Thanks for watching, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.